Hello, once again, this is Dr. House with a tutorial. You know, I release a lot of Left 4 Dead 2 add-ons, in case you haven't noticed. And just about every single time I do that, I get a couple of pricks asking me to remove something from the VPK add-on. Well, let me tell you, it's actually a really simple and quick thing to do yourself. And today, I am going to teach you how to modify your own friggin' VPKs so you don't have to be bothering me and relying on me. Because not everybody wants the same crap that you do. Anyways, you need two programs. One GCF scape. Click here, click here, click, click now. Do it. And the other is built into Steam. It's in Tools and it's called Left 4 Dead 2 Authoring Tools. If you don't already have it, right click install. Once it's downloaded, play game and you can start up any of these things, model viewer, face pose, or whatever. We just start up one of these programs to ensure that the files get uh, copied over. Anyways, install GCFscape somewhere and navigate to your Left 4 Dead 2 directory. I have a shortcut made to it for convenience. In case you don't know, it's in C program files or program files x86 if you're running a 64-bit system. It is in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Left 4 Dead 2. First, go into the bin folder and look for a thingy called VPK. And you can create a shortcut or send it to the desktop, which is exactly the same thing anyway. Go further into the add-ons folder and just drop that shortcut right in here. Yeah, whatever. And you can see all your add-ons here. Once you've installed GCF Scape, you can right-click any of these, choose Open With, and if it's not already there, browse for it and navigate to wherever you installed it. Select that hoe. And make sure always use the selected program as selected. What in the hell? <laughs> I did the wrong freaking open with thing. Oh well. There. There we go. So from now on, whenever you want to open one of these add-ons, this also works for GCF, Scott, for GCF files, no shit, and some others. Forget the names. Anyway, from now on, you can click any of these add-on files and just open them right up. Easy. Simple. So I'm going to edit my AK-47 recent release, just for the hell of it. And once you open it up, you always want to extract the root folder to wherever. And you rename that folder to whatever you want the add-on to be called. And within this folder, you can edit any aspect of the add-on that you desire. Like if the sounds are screwed and the scripts mess with the consistency, which is the case most of the time with my shit, you can just delete those folders. Voila! And now you simply drag that folder onto the VPK shortcut you made earlier, and it will make it into a frickin' VPK that you can use in-game now. Remember to delete the old add-on, please. Oh yeah. And, um, the VPK will show up wherever the folder is located. So you put that in your add-ons if it's not already there. It's voila! I hope this helps some people and gets quite a few other people off my back. Well, have fun.